Hey guys, my name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of the Bucket Plugin Tutorial. Uh, last episode, the audio levels were a bit low, I was told by people. Um, but sorry, if they're low this time, I'm still trying to get my audio stuff set up. Yeah. So anyway, today we're going to be looking at uh, new inventory. So different inventories you can sort of make. Uh, so you can make fake inventories and stuff like that, which is, uh, which is cool. So if we just go into our, our class thingy remove everything okay so obviously I'm not gonna be testing this one again because I, I don't have time but this does work everything I do works I test it beforehand I have pieces of paper that I look at just to make sure I'm not giving tutorials where I'm teaching stuff that doesn't actually work so first of all we want to initiate the creation of the inventory so to do that at the start of our class we're gonna make a public uh, I normally make it static so you can never make another instance of this uh, inventory we always want the inventory to be the same and we're going to in inventory and we're going to call it something so we're going to call this inventory uh, test inventory so now we actually want to you know import the inventory so control shift o to import that then we want to actually set test inventory equal to something so to do that we're going to say test inventory and that's going to be equal to bucket dot create inventory now for the inventory holder, we don't actually want an inventory holder. We want the server to hold this inventory. We want it to be uh, like a, a lonely inventory that just sort of is there. It has no, it doesn't have a parent, it doesn't have children. It's an orphan inventory. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to put. So we're going to set that to null. So there's no uh, inventory holder. Now the size of the inventory always has to be divisible by 9. So we the lowest we can put it at is 9. And we can set it to 18, you know, stuff like that. So yeah that's why um, that is that and you also see that if we go say 9 18 we can set it to 9 I'm actually I'm gonna comment this I'm just gonna comment what we can call it so we the amount of slots it has in the inventory we could have 9 we could have 18 we could have 27 we could have 36 we could have 45 we could have six, uh, 56 we could have uh, 60 65 and you know 74 83 I, I, I can't count in nines. It's early in the morning. Why do they? Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, fifty-six, sixty-five, 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 sixty-five,
and we can add like a new item stack with like material dot diamond in it. So that's going to add a diamond into the uh, if we just import that from there. That's going to add a, a diamond into our inventory. Obviously, there's lots of other things we can do. We can go test test inventory dot clear. We can clear it all. Test inventory. So it's it, this is basically just like a normal inventory, and you know we can check if it contains at least like. There's actually something I, I quite like. So this is like a, an if thing. So it will turn true or false. So if our test inventory uh, contains at least uh, a new item stack, uh, material dot like diamond. So if it contains at least like 50 diamonds, then it will clear the inventory. So stuff like that. Uh, something else I want to show actually is if we keep this class as implementing listener, and if we register our events. So uh, get server dot get uh, plugin manager dot register events in this class with this class. Uh, we're going to make a quick at event handler have public uh, void on player or on inventory. Sorry, click, and in the parentheses we're going to put inventory click event event. And what this does is it checks for whenever someone clicks inside an inventory. And what we can do here is we have lots of different things. So if event dot uh, get inventory is equal to our test inventory. So if our inventory is the test inventory, you know we could do some stuff. So like event uh, dot you know get current item. So the item that they've clicked, and we can get the type of it. And we could like we could check this. So we could say if this item's type is like material dot anvil so if it's an anvil we can uh, cancel the event so they're not allowed to you know take that item out but then what we could do is we could say event dot get uh, who clicked so we're getting the person that clicked and we're going to get their inventory and we could add an item to their item type so if they've tried to get this anvil out of the inventory you know we could give them an apple or something similar so something like that. So that's how this sort of works. I, I, I quite like how you can do this in Bucket. I think it's a very good sort of feature. I'm gesticulating all over the place right now. <laughs> it's quite funny. I'm like, I, I normally do this in my tutorials. I'm like pointing at things. I'm like, so this is this. Uh, but yeah, so I quite like how this is actually done. I quite like how you can do this in Bucket, how you can, it's, it's a very good way for shop systems, I think, is the main reason I quite like it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Comment down below if you don't understand anything. Post on bucket forums if you don't understand anything. Send me messages if you think you can't find it on bucket forums. Private plugins is something else I need to talk about. That is stopped right now because of lo I've got loads of projects going on. Um, so yeah, if you have any problems, you know, comment, subscribe, like, favorite, do all that stuff. Everyone, everyone, be happy. Be happy. Go follow us on Twitter. Next tutorial, we'll see what happens. I'll probably record. Uh, I'll probably end up recording it right now. It'll probably be something from the back night again. Just some more features. So I think I'll see you guys next time.